Hey everyone, my name is Graham Westbrook and I'm the Director of Intelligence and Content at Living Security. By now you've heard of coronavirus or COVID-19 and how it's affecting our global community. The CDC has recently labeled it a pandemic, which has very little to do with the severity of the virus and everything to do with its geographic spread. Unfortunately, most estimates say that we are likely to see this outbreak grow in size and in number. On the other hand, I've seen people from all walks of life come together to share hygiene tips on hand washing, containment strategies, and resources to protect the ones that we love from infection. Here at Living Security, we're reminded of how important it is to be human, and to share that humanity with our fellow neighbors, to listen, to help, and to serve. What you probably haven't heard much about during this time is cyber hygiene. Many large corporations are asking employees to work from home and small businesses are right on their heels. This means that the cybersecurity environment is shifting and that your new workspace is not the walls of your office anymore, but likely the comfort of your own home. And this introduces new threats. So here's a few tips from our team to your family on how to safely and securely work from home. First, check with your IT department about a VPN or a virtual private network. This is the most secure way to work with sensitive data remotely because it routes your internet traffic through your work network. If no VPN, then make sure to connect only to trusted home Wi-Fi or personal hotspots like MiFi's or LTE when working with sensitive information. Try to avoid public Wi-Fi too, or your neighbor's Wi-Fi for that matter, whenever possible. Second, lock your computer when getting up from your home workspace by pressing Windows L or Command Control Q on a Mac. This reduces the likelihood that a family member or a child could accidentally destroy work material. It's not a bad idea either to securely store your devices when not in use. Third, keep work data on work devices. It may be tempting to send work emails with personal accounts, use your personal cloud storage drive, or maybe even offload data to personal devices and USBs. But it will only put your organization and your coworkers more at risk of data breach or data leakage. It's just not worth the risk. Fourth and finally, understand that new cyber threats are actually emerging because of COVID-19, like themed phishing. The Living Security Intelligence team has observed threat actors impersonating the WHO and the CDC in emails to employees worldwide. This impersonation is actually used as a method to manipulate trust and steal money or data from unsuspecting victims. By betraying your trust, cyber criminals try to encourage you to download attachments, click links, or browse to COVID-themed websites in the name of charity. It's okay to have a healthy sense of paranoia here and report red flags to your security team. All right, so real talk. The right response to this pandemic is not fear, but a willingness to support and protect those around you. By practicing hygiene and cyber hygiene, instead of just kicking back and being indifferent, you will help to contain the impact that COVID-19 can have on our society, our organizations, and our families. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening. And on behalf of all of us here at Living Security, please stay safe and secure.